Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about algebraic manipulation. Algebraic manipulation is basically just um, transpositions. In topics natin under this would be transpositions APE and MPE. Okay? So, um, this is just simply transferring or ano, manipulating our equations to satisfy a certain condition. Okay? So, let's start immediately with our given, as in, uh, with our topic. Since you all know that transposition is just transferring from one side to another, um, plus becomes minus and vice versa, and multiplication becomes division and vice versa, okay? And APE would be the same, adding on both sides and multiplying on both sides, okay? So let's start. Our first example would be, um, say, x plus 4y is equals to 9, okay? So our aim here... Uh, this is our equation, but our aim here is I want to know what is the value of y. What is y? Or mean, or in other terms, I want you to express this equation in terms of y. Meaning, I want y to be alone. That's basically it. Okay. So when 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 it comes to these kinds of ano, questions, what you need to do is you need to transfer the variables. Oh, I mean, um, all values beside y, or beside the variable you want, to the other side. Okay? Just like what I've been saying to you guys um, since we have started classes, that if you want to solve for the unknown, you leave it alone. Okay? So this is why you leave it alone. So meaning, I need to transfer this times 4 beside y and this x. Okay? But when it comes to transposition, okay, um... This is for, ano, for my case. I am actually reversing the MDAS. Binabaligtad ko yung MDAS. Okay? Meaning, the, the first thing that I need to transfer is the addition and subtraction before I transfer the multiplication and division. Okay? But that would be only for cases that it is not enclosed in a parenthesis or it's not in a certain group. Later on, we will discuss that. Now, in this case, x plus 4y is equal to 9. The very first thing I need to transfer is the x. And when I trans transpose, I mean, the x becomes the opposite sign. Okay? It's opposite sign, which is it's positive, then it becomes negative. Next one is I need to remove the times 4. If that is times 4, then I transpose it to the other side, then it becomes divided by 4. Now, as for the division there, you, you always divide everything on the other side. Okay? So, this would be 9 minus x divided by 4. Okay? So, this would be my given. Uh, this would be my equation expressed in terms of y. Now, this is the improper way of solving this one. The proper way of solving this one and without a flaw is called the APE and MPE method. Okay? Now, in APE and MPE method, what we do here is we apply, for example, this one. The addition property of equality wherein I will add for both sides a specific number or letter or variable that is the inverse of what I want to transfer. Since I want to transfer this x, I will add on both sides the inverse of x, which is negative x. Okay, so I added negative x here and I added negative x. Okay, so what would happen would be, since it's an inverse, it would be cancelled out. So what would remain is 4y is equals to 9 minus x. And the next one would be the MPE. Because since I want to remove 4, and the inverse of 4, when it comes to multiplication, or, or the multiplicative inverse, is you will multiply this side and the other side by 1 fourth. And remember, and f before that, pala. So, if I multiply 1 4 and 4, the answer would be 1. So, what would remain is y. And on the other side, since that is 1 4 times the entire equation, this would fall under distributive property. So, that's why in this case, I divide everything by 4 in here. Okay, in this case, in this case. Okay, now as for this, this would become 9 over 4 minus x over 4, which is basically the same as 9 minus x all over 4, okay? 
So now I have expressed my given in terms of y. Okay? So that would be our first example of transposition. Okay? So there are cases that um, your given would be like this. 2 times x plus 2 y ma, um, is equals to 7 like this. And I want to express my given in terms, sorry, let me undo that, in terms of x. Meaning, I need to transpose everything beside x to the other side. But since in this given, you will notice that um, x is beside times 2 here on the outside. And also, it's beside 2y, okay? I cannot immediately transfer this to y. Why? Kasi, it's still enclosed in a parenthesis, okay? So, just think of it like this. Um, if, it is, if it has a parenthesis and the numbers inside are the terms that you want to manipulate, you cannot bring them out yet until these two. So, consider two as your guard and the parenthesis as your ano, prison bars, okay? You cannot move out unless the guard is gone. So, meaning, I need to remove this guard first. I need to remove two. So, meaning... I will apply either MPE, which is I will multiply both sides by one half, or I just simply need to transpose 2, since this is times 2, it becomes division. So transposing that to the other side will give me x plus 2y is equal to 7 over 2. Next, so I want to express the given in terms of x. So meaning I will transpose now. Everything beside x, which is the only thing that remains, is 2y. If I transpose 2y, it becomes negative 2y. And what would happen here? Checking. Is there anything still beside x? If there is none, therefore, this is your final answer. Okay? This is your final answer. Next, let's say we have another example. Say we have 3x minus 4y plus 8 equals to 0 and I want to express the given in terms of x so if I want to express my given in terms of x what would happen here is I would just simply transpose everything beside x to the other side since we cannot transpose multiplication yet because it's beside x and there is still addition and subtraction here okay I will transpose these things first as a whole so what would happen would be I will have 3x equals to, take note that is 0, so this would become negative 8 plus 4y. Since that is 0, so it's negligible. Okay, so you can just remove that. So, transposing 8 would become negative 8, and transposing negative 4y will give us positive 4y, leaving us with 3x on the other side. Okay, so now we need to remove the times 3. Okay, so this is 3 times x. Removing times 3 will give me a division to the other side, giving us negative 8 plus 4y all over 3. And this would be my equation in terms of x. Okay? Let's have another example. So what if we have a fraction? So say I have um, 2x plus 5y minus 3 all over 4 is equals to wait long let me fix my equation all over uh, all over 5 minus 2 is equals to 7 yeah what if we have this one so if we have this kinds of equation what we end I want to express in terms of x okay if we have this case what would happen here is you cannot move the values beside x if there is a um, fraction bar that covers the entire um some part one majority of the part of the equation or maybe at least ano um you covers x and another term yeah and covers it covers x and 5y so meaning i cannot transpose 5y immediately but this negative 2 i can transpose why because it's not being guarded by this 5 okay so, we will consider this fraction bar, the big fraction bar, as a prison bar and the 5, the denominator, as your guard. So, the 2 can move now because it's not being guarded by 5. So, moving 2 will give us 
still it would be here, it would give us 7 plus 2. Okay? So next. So we move 2 na kasi it's possible. Now we move 5 because since moving 5 first is important for us to move the 5y. So moving divided by 5 because this is fraction divided by 5, it would become times 5 when we, when we transpose. 7 plus 2 is 9 and 9 times 5 would be the term on the other side. So what would be left is 2x plus 5y. And having this, we can now move 5y because we want it to be expressed in terms of x, meaning we want x to be alone. Okay? So 9 times 5 is 45 minus 5y. And leaving us with this, divide everything by, I mean, transpose this times 2, it becomes divided by 2. Okay? And maybe let's have a, one last example. This would be your final answer. One last example. Say we have um, a very simple one. X plus Y is equal to 12. And I want to be ex it to be expressed in terms of Y. Okay? So meaning, I need to transpose X, leaving us with 12 minus X. Okay? It's so actually quite easy lang solving or ano, trans transposition. Long as you remember the, the concept of... Um, a fraction bar and a parenthesis as ano, as your prison and the numbers outside the multiplier or the denominator as your guards you cannot move unless they are gone okay so as long as you keep that concept in mind it may be a little bit childish but it works okay so long as you keep that concept in mind you will have no problems when it comes to transposition okay so if you would have any other questions regarding our topic you can just simply review the video again or you can chat me in our chat box so that i can address your issues again thank you for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh